Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to review or at least swatch some of my new neon polishes which are by HEMA. HEMA is a Dutch brand but it is also available worldwide recently. There are lots of different countries who also have HEMA stores so in my opinion it should be pretty easy to get by uh, these polishes. So if you're curious to see what I think about them, swatches and uh, if you want to see me compare them to some of my China Glaze Neons, please keep on watching. So first of all, I want to mention that there are six different shades, but I only was able to get the first five. There also is a somewhat lighter pinky one, which is like more of a hot pink. Compared to this one, this is a more coral-like uh, polish. But so I'm sorry, I I didn't um, I wasn't able to get that one. So if you want to see swatches, I'd really recommend you just Google them, and you will just see some swatches. Maybe you can actually still get that polish online or in your local store. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that one uh, in uh, the place I live. But let's just take a look at the bottles itself. They're just really recognizable for HEMA itself. So there's not much to tell about them. They contain 11 milliliters, which is a pretty big bottle. It's kind of comparable to the China Glaze ones, which contain 14 milliliters. Um, I only paid 3 euros for these bottles and the China Glaze bottles are, all cost me about 6 euros each. So the um, polishes don't really have names, they only have numbers. And let's see, it are the two last numbers of each bottle. So this is the second one. This is the fourth one. The little green one is number five. Then the orange one is number six. And the purple one I have, let's see, is number three. So it's it's too bad that the polishes don't really have names but i have to say that hema doesn't really name uh, its polishes at all i ha i haven't seen any polishes which actually have names on them so that's just too bad i'm just going to swatch these polishes for you on some um little nails i got to just show you um, and after each HEMA polish, I'm going to swatch a uh, China Glaze polish, which I think is a pretty good dupe um, of the HEMA one, or at least the HEMA one is a pretty good dupe of the China Glaze one. So first up is the coral um, colored one, and I haven't applied a base coat to start with. I do have the base coat which comes with this collection, which is just like a white kind of polish or like a white colored base coat but this is just the first coat it's not that bright as you'd expect with the first coat but i think it will look a lot better when you apply it over uh, a white polish or the way uh, white base coat and this is the polish swatched with two coats so i think that you really will need a white base or at least an opaque base before um, it's completely opaque on your own natural nails because neon polishes are kind of famous for li like not being that opaque without any base underneath so i'd really recommend that and the swatch, or at least the polish, which is really compatible with the HEMA polish is by China Glaze and it's called Pool Party. In the bottle itself, it looks really, really similar. At the first glance, it kind of looks like it has the same uh, substance. And the colors do look alike. I think the China Glaze one is actually even more neon and a little bit more pink. And this is the China Glaze one with just two coats. So let's compare them. I really do feel like the China Glaze one is, is way more neon and like a lot more bright than the HEMA one. But the HEMA one is still really cute though. 
So next up are the yellow and the lime green one by Hema and I've also got a really neon yellow by China Glaze and this one is actually kind of in between because this is by China Glaze um, called, let's see, yellow polka dot bikini and it is really a neon like marker yellow. Um, I have to say that the neon yellow one by Hema is more like a sunny yellow color and that the lime green actually um, comes way closer to the China Glaze yellow neon one. But let me just swatch them really quickly. I will apply two layers of each polish on each um, practice nail or swatch nail. Kind of depends how you want to call them. So this is the first layer. It looks kind of cool though. It's it's really a bright yellow, but it's not like marker neon yellow as I would expected it to be uh, when I saw the uh, press um, photos. And for a second coat, I do have to say that the polishes really apply lovely and that the brush is kind of more like a thicker one, a little more wide than the china glaze one so that's kind of nice and then the lime green one that's really bright in real life i don't know if the camera is picking this one up as good as it should but this is one coat oh and i actually put a little h on every swatch nail to just remember um, which one is from the hema collection and which ones are from the china glaze collection and then for a second coat, it's actually really, really nice, pretty decent. So then the two Hema ones compared, I hope my camera is going to show the difference in color because in real life it isn't such a big difference, but the green one is, is really, really green. And then the China Glaze one, as I said, is the yellow polka dot bikini one. And as you can see, the brush really is a lot smaller um, than the one, the ones of the Hema polishes. And I do notice that the polish itself by the China Glaze one is a lot more thinner. Um, I feel like this is a true neon one because neon polishes often have some of more, uh, somewhat more thinner uh, substance than normal creamy ones. I think the Hema ones actually are a little bit more creamy. But this is one coat of the China Glaze and I'm going to apply a second one right away because neon polishes like true neon polishes really dry super fast. So these are the polishes compared, so the neon yellow, the lime green and the neon yellow by China Glaze. As you can see the China Glaze one really is um, a lot more yellow than the yellow one, but it also kind of tends to go to the green one. So next up is the orange one by Hema. And I'll just swatch that one really quickly. Oh, this one isn't that opaque as the um, previous ones were, but I think that a second coat will definitely fix that problem. And the second coat. Yeah, that definitely makes it more, uh, more opaque. Really nice, a really bright, bright orange. Then the China Glaze one, I didn't really have a bright orange China Glaze one, but this one was actually from a neon collection as well, and it is the most orange one I got, and it's called Sun Worshipper. And again, the brush is way smaller, so you have to like dunk in a few times more to get the same effect you'd get from the Hema polishes with just one coat. So that's one coat. It's a lot more lighter, as you can see. And I just applied the second coat of the China Glaze one. And these are the two compared. 
So the Hema one, it's it's actually way more bright, but it is a lot more dark as an orange tone itself. I have to say that the China Glaze one is really, really neon as well, but it's just a, a tad more lighter. The final neon Hema polish is this pretty medium purple one. It's not like in the bottle itself, it doesn't really remind me of like a neon color, but it really is a pretty color nonetheless. And then the swatch. As you can see, the brush is really nice and white, but the polish itself isn't that super opaque. I'll just show you with my nail underneath the swatch nail itself. You can see it's not really opaque with the first coat, but I'll just quickly swatch the second coat on top and I'll be right back. The second coat actually makes it a real, a real difference. Um, and it's just nice and bright. As I said, purple isn't really like a neon color to me, at least in my opinion, but it is a really, really nice color. The China Glaze uh, polish I have to compare this one with is called Gothic Lolita and is actually from um, the Electro Pop collection, if I remind correctly. I've had this polish for a really long time, um, but if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments down below. So this is the first coat of the China Glaze one and it's actually pretty opaque with just one layer. I have to say that the purple tone is a little bit um, darker than the one by Hema but that's kind of nice as well. It's just a little bit more dark. And this is a China Glaze Gothic Lolita one with just two coats and as I expected it is fully opaque. So let's just hold them next to each other. Um, in this case, like the purple ones, I have to say that the Hema one is more neon. So we definitely have a Hema winner right here. <laughs> But um, that were actually all the colors. I will just put them all side to side so you can see the different ones. So these are all the colors. The top colors are the four China Glaze ones and the bottom ones are the five Hema ones. As you can see, like the China Glaze ones, definitely the first two are really, really bright. But I have to say that the orange one by Hema and the purple one are just a little more brighter than the China Glaze neons I have. I have to say all colors are really really pretty and especially for the low price of only 3 euros each you really can't just let them stand there all by themselves on a little shelf in the store you know but um, I think like when I look at the price and the subst substantiation and all those things China Glaze really does have really good neon ones. The brushes are a lot thinner than the Hema ones and the prices are a little bit more um, to the higher side of the China Glazes one because those are like double the price of the Hema ones. But I really hope you enjoyed this little review and swatches. As you can see, the polishes dry up completely matte, so if you want to add some shine, I definitely recommend to just add a glossy top coat. And if you want even more brightness from the polishes, I would suggest you would use a white polish underneath or just a lighter base coat. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.